I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and today I'm here with Deepak Raghavan, who is the chair of the Atlanta chapter's Thai organization. And I'm also here with Jennifer Bonet, who is the super chick of Startup Chicks. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Deepak, you are now chair of Thai, but you're one of the founders, too. Um, founded in 1998, what are Thai's challenges today as opposed to when you started? Okay. So when we started in 1998, you know, the high-tech industry was really taking off. And so we were at the right place at the right time to be focused on the high-tech sector. And we made a big impact and a big splash in the beginning. Then, of course, we went through a series of tough years for high-tech and for business in general. And we have been re-emerging from that. And Thai has, in Atlanta, has been leading that re-emergence. So since 2006, our uh, growth, both in terms of membership, in revenue, sponsorship, has really grown quite uh, well. So we've got about a compounded 40% growth during that time period. So we're, we're back being a very key player in helping entrepreneurship locally. Uh, as far as challenges go, I would look at more as opportunities. And we are looking at uh, taking Thai and broadening its scope in two key areas. One is from a standpoint of uh, rather than being just focused on tech-based industries, we're now broadly, more broadly focused in tech service-based industries as well as entrepreneurship where you have members within large organizations making a big difference through their entrepreneurial contribution to the organizations. And the second avenue is uh, Thai historically has been focused on the South Asian community. A lot of the founders are from that community. A lot of the original members are from that community. And we are looking to broaden that into the mainstream population of the communities we live in. And we've taken some great strides in doing that over the last couple of years. And it's an area that we need to continue to improve on. Jennifer, how did you hear about Thai? I've known about Thai for, for years, probably since the late 90s. Right after you started, I was involved with a entrepreneurial startup company and went to several of the events uh, uh -huh. back in the day. And then just recently re reconnected in the last year, year or so through my role in Startup Chicks and high, tr trying to uh, build a bridge between the two organizations. What's attractive about Thai to you? Uh, they have fabulous educational events, which are of great value for the startup chicks and the women. Uh, they bring in great guest speakers. And just they have a very, very strong community as a whole that uh, supports each other through mentorship as well as the educational events. You have an, uh, a couple of major annual events, and you've got one coming up called Vista. Tell us about that. Okay. And starting this year, Vista is our main annual event, just the only one. Until last year, we had a summit and a gala that were separate. What we have decided to do this year with Vista is combine those two events in one. So we have a gala dinner and a two-day entrepreneurial workshop um, for budding entrepreneurs, for owners of small businesses that want to take it to the next level, for uh, or individuals who are engaged in large corporations and wanting to make a difference there. And this year's program is focused on two tracks. VISTA stands for Venture and Innovation Summit of Thai Atlanta. And Venture and Innovation are the two main tracks. This is part of your big umbrella strategy. Who would you like to see from uh, Atlanta and elsewhere in the southeast come that, that may not have much experience with Thai or even uh, have heard about it before? I think anyone who is in the business world who is looking to do more with their talents and ideas and abilities. If you're looking to do more, you want to connect and engage with like-minded people that will spark new ideas in your mind and to take your performance to the next level, whether you're an entrepreneur or an individual in a large corporation. Thai, which was started in uh, Silicon Valley in the er early 90s, now is uh, a truly global organization with chapters all over the world and, and new chapters uh, coming online. Um, a company that wants to explore new markets uh, that it might be unfamiliar with. Um, in India or elsewhere. Um, is Thai a, a conduit for them? 
Absolutely, in, um, in two ways. One is Thai Atlanta for the members is mainly focused on networking among members in Atlanta, bring speakers from all over the world, uh, very high quality speakers, so you get the education and you get the perspective. But in addition to that, we've got about 85 mentor members who are owners of businesses uh, and taking it to the next level. And those people are doing two things. One is they are contributing their experience to regular members by mentoring them. In addition, the, the network among mentor members is very fruitful in spawning new business ideas, spawning new collaborations. And one of the ways that's done is at a global level. Thai globally has a slate of thousands of mentor members with uh, the who's who in most industries. And they have, when you're a mentor member of Thai Atlanta, you get invited to these global networking events amongst other mentor members, and you get a perspective that you can not get in many other uh, sources. Is this uh, an attractive aspect of Thai for you, Jennifer, and for uh, Startup Chicks? Certainly, certainly. One of our goals, uh, Startup Chicks, is, is international today through our website primarily. We only have uh, real life meetings here in Atlanta and one of our goals for this year is to start expanding into other cities and hopefully in the future be global so um, kind of following in Ty's footsteps here and I'm looking for Ty to help mentor us in, in our experience as we figure out how to go global. And the one thing, sorry Phil, that one thing I would like to say is I've been saying Ty Atlanta a lot but Vista is really a, a joint effort from uh, three Thai chapters in the southeast. So we got Thai Atlanta leading the effort, but we also have very meaningful contributions from Thai Carolinas and Thai Florida who are also involved in Vista. Jennifer, uh, do you think that um, Thai's educational uh, exposure is appealing to um, young entrepreneurs and uh, young yeah. professionals? Yes, most definitely. Um, uh, we had probably about 40 of our startup chicks attend the summit last summer, so I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll have just as many attend Vista this year. A lot of our young aspiring entrepreneurs go and, and listen to you know Tim Draper talk about uh, venture capital and the state of venture capital today and listen to the panel uh, discussions that will be primarily entrepreneurs talking about their experiences. I think it's uh, going to be a great event for young entrepreneurs. Uh, mentoring is a uh a key component of Thai, or is it window dressing? No, it is, it is the uh, backbone of Thai. Without mentoring, we really don't have an organization. Um, it, we, uh, we, we do it certainly through networking and monthly uh, meetings and bringing the right speakers from global access. Um, but uh, we really, behind the scenes and day in and day out, the value that Thai brings to entrepreneurs is the mentoring. And one recent program that I'd like to highlight is uh, focused on younger entrepreneurs. So we launched a program called TYE, Thai Young Entrepreneurs, that's focused on high school students and building their entrepreneurial and business skill set. Jennifer, what's the best thing that can happen to you at the uh, VISTA conference? <laughs> Um, I, well, I'm on a panel, so hopefully that'll go well. <laughs> um, and and I, it's a great networking event. So I also have a startup company called Nexpense. Uh, it's an expense reporting solution for small to mid-sized businesses that focuses on using the mobile smartphones to capture the receipts and then business automation processing through the back end. And there are certainly some key people in the community, in the Thai community, or related to that will be at the event that I think it's a good business development opportunity for me as well to make some connections there for that business. And Deepak, as chair of the board, um, what do you think um, would be the way that you would consider uh, the conference a success? You know, if we get uh, the sense of energy that we expect to get and we've gotten at uh, previous events, if the uh, people who show up are engaging and um, talking to each other and coming up with business ideas and asking the right questions of the panels, uh, panelists and speakers, things that we've seen at all Thai events. So we have the expectation that this will be another very good event with vibrant energy and business ideas and collaboration. Um, and I mentioned the high school students, a number of them are also attending this event. And I think this is the first time we may have that much of a participation from high school students at uh, uh, an annual event. And so the, the, the sense of community and different levels of uh, people were engaging with entrepreneurship is broader this year than ever before.